hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for clicking on this video so in today's video we are going to be making a roach dress and I'm going to be using this fabric for this tutorial so this fabric is a stretchy fabric and here I have two meters of fabric and I'm going to be cutting the upper part of this dress first so I'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric with the largest part of my upper part which is my bust and I added about one inch to that for seam allowance so I made a shoulder line and I marked 16 inches downwards for my length and then I added half an inch for seam allowance to the lower part okay after that on the upper part I marked my shoulder measurement divided by two which is seven inches and then I marked my armhole round divided by two which is eight inches right here so on that point I'm going to mark my shoulder measurement again which is seven inches and I'm going to connect the shoulder line to the armhole line like so and I'm going to connect the bust line as well on the shoulder line I'm going to mark a neck width of 3 inches and a neck depth of 3.5 inches this totally depends on you okay so it's not a standard after that I curve that out and I'm going to mark half an inch for shoulder slope on the shoulder line I'm going to connect that to the neck width on the bust line I'm going to mark my bust measurement divided by 4 which is 8.5 and then I added half an inch to that measurement and moving on to the waistline I'm going to mark my waist measurement divided by 4 which is 6.75 my waist measurement is 27 inches divided by 4 6.75 I marked that and then I added 1 inch for that allowance and then half an inch for the same allowance then I'm going to go ahead and connect the points that I just made like so and I'm going to cover the armhole of the front panel of our dress after that this is what I have I'm going to go ahead and cut this out so after cutting this is what I have I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you what I have so I'm going to be using this one to cut out for the back panel of this so I laid that out and then I added one inch extra for the zipper because this dress is going to have a zipper and then on the neck width I marked the same neck width and a neck depth of one inch and I'm going to go ahead and cut that out as well after that I'm going to slit the back into two so now I have the front panel of the upper part and then the two back panels of the upper part of our dress as you can see here. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to cut the lower part of our dress. So guys, I cut out the lower part of my dress and I didn't know my camera wasn't rolling. So I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what I did. So this is the front panel of the skirt part. Open this what I have. So I'm going to close it back and show you what I did. So first I marked out the length of the skirt. So the dress is supposed to be 40 inches. Remember we used 16 inches already. So what we should have is 24 inches. I added half an, I mean I added one inch seam allowance to that so i marked 25 inches okay so from the waistline i marked out my hip line which is eight inches so on the waistline i marked my waist measurement divided by four which is 6.75 and then i added half an inch to that on the hip line i marked my hip measurement divided by four as well and then i went ahead and added half an inch to that on the lower part i marked the measurement down and then i minus half an inch and then i cut it out so i'm going to use that to cut the back panel i added one inch extra for zipper just like we did for the upper part and i'm going to go ahead and cut out my pattern like so so after cutting this is what i have i'm just going to remove the front panel and then i'm going to slit the back panel into two to have the two back panels that we need for our dress so after cutting it out this is what i have for the back panel of the skirt so this is what I have for the two back panels. I'm going to go ahead now show you how to cut the sleeve. So here I have folded my fabric into two. 
and I'm going to mark my cap's height. My cap's height is 3.5. If you don't understand what I'm doing, I'm going to link a video on how to make a sleeve here so you can go ahead and watch. So on the cap's height line, I'm going to mark my armhole round divided by 2, which is 8 inches. And I'm going to connect the measurement from the edge to that 8 inches I marked like so. And I'm going to add half an inch for my seam allowance on the armhole line. And I'm going to extend the curve like so after that i'm going to mark the full length of the sleeve i want the sleeve to be 21 inches but i'm marking 22 because i will use one inch to hem this sleeve okay so after marking that i'm going to go ahead and curve out this i want the lower part of the sleeve to be bigger than the upper part so i'm just curving it out to go and to meet the armhole just like this and i'm just going to cut this pattern out so i'm going to use this pattern to cut out for the second sleeve of our dress so this is what i have when it's open and i'm going to use it to cut the second part all right so i've used it to cut it out and after cutting this is what i have okay so next, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to mark out the points to attach your rope. So here is the front panel of my skirt. My skirt is folded in two. So at this point, you will decide where you want the rope for the roach to be. I want mine to be at the left thigh at my left thigh so from the center i'm marking four inches so this totally depends on you you can put the rope at the center of your dress or at the side or on your tie so it depends on you so i'm putting mine at the left thigh so wherever you decide to put yours that is where you are going to mark this line i am marking so i measured four inches from the center and i got this measurement okay so like i said it's nice you can decide where you want to place yours so what I did next was to go ahead and cut out um, this strip that I'm going to be using to form the casing for the rope. This is the same length, about the same length with the skirt part of my dress. And for the width is about 2 inches, okay? So that is what I marked and I'm going to be attaching this to the inner part of our skirt like this to form a casing that the rope for the roach is going to pass through so if your fabric frays make sure you go ahead and hem it before you attach it but if it doesn't you can go ahead and attach it like so so i'm going to set this aside and then i'll show you how to cut the interfacing for the neckline of our blouse okay so i brought out a fresh fabric and then i laid out the front panel on the neckline of the front panel on the fresh fabric like this and then I marked out the neckline if you've been following my tutorial you should know how to do this by now so I'm just doing this for the sake of those that are watching my video for the first time so what I did was to mark about three inches downwards and I curved that out and after doing that is what I have I'm going to go ahead cut that out and this is what I'm going to be using to turn out the neckline of my dress so what I'll do is to go ahead, place it right sides facing each other like so. And I'm going to go ahead, make a stitch on the neckline. Then I'm going to notch, flip it to the other side. So I did the same for the two back panels, cut out the facing, and I'm going to go ahead, take it to the sewing machine and stitch it together the same way I did for the front. So after stitching it together, this is what I have for the front panel. You see the neckline has been neatly finished. And from the inside, this is what I have. You can see the top stitch I made and you can see the notching i also made so i did the same for the two sides of the back panel as well and this is what i have for the upper part so i'm going to go ahead and attach the back panel of the upper part to the front panel so starting from the shoulder i'm going to align the seams and i'm going to stitch interfacing to insta interfacing and the main shoulder to the main shoulder like this from the inner side and then i'll close the sides i'll do the same to the other shoulder and then i'll also go ahead and close the sides okay so this is the skirt pattern panel of our dress I've gone ahead and I joined the sides together and then I closed the back seam but I left the zipper seam allowance open. What I'm going to do is to go ahead and hem the skirt on the lower part with the half an inch seam allowance I added, okay? 
so after doing that i'm going to place the the fabric i cut out for the casing on it like so and when i go to the sewing machine i'm going to go ahead and stitch it to it so i'm going to stitch it to it like this from the beginning i mean from the waistline to the hemline like so after hemming the lower part okay so after doing that i cut out these strips for myself i have two of these and this i'm going to be using to form the rope that will pass through the casing i made on the lower part or on the skirt part of the dress so this is about one inch long and about 38.5 inches in length but for the width it is 1.1 inches one inch sorry one inch so i'm going to go ahead fold this i'm going to make a stitch on it like so i'm going to do the same to the other part just to turn it to a rope that will pass through that casing we made okay Alright, so after attaching that pin I made for the skirt, this is what I have. I've stitched it to the skirt. I'm just going to turn the other side so you see it better. So from the back side, this is what I have. The casing has been attached to the skirt. So this is what I have. So like I said, if you want yours to be in the center, this pin is going to be in the center or wherever you want it to be, okay? Alright. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and make a stitch in the center of that rope I added, not rope, the center of the fabric I added to form the casing. So I'm just going to make a stitch. You see here I have two stitches. So I'm going to make another stitch in the middle to make it three stitches on that point where I added that extra fabric, okay? So... I stitched the rope as you can see here like I told you and I've turned this inside out but I left this so that I can show you how to turn it inside out okay so this is what I have I'm going to go ahead and show you how to turn it so you're going to take your safety pin put it in like this and then push it into the fabric and then use it to turn out your fabric so you're going to keep pushing the safety pin through the hole that you made you're going to push it until it comes out on the other side of the rope that you made just the way i have it here and then you're going to drag it out and turn this inside out after doing that your right side of your fabric should be out just the way mine is here and you are going to go ahead and grab one end of the fabric and fold it in and make a stitch like so so after doing that, this is what I have. I made the stitch I told you about on the center of that part. And I'm going to go ahead and pass this rope through the holes that I made. The reason I made an extra hole on the casing that I made is because the rope is two and you want the two to be on each side of the stitch you made. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this rope through the hole that I made with the fabric I attached to the skirt part. So what you will do is to also take your safety pin, pin it to the rope that you made and then pass it through the casing that you made on your skirt. I hope this is clear enough. So you are going to keep passing and bring it out on the upper part of the skirt like this. So once that is out, you are going to grab your office pin and then you're going, to, you're going to remove the safety pin first and then use the office pin to keep the rope in place so it doesn't get lost inside the fabric, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and insert the other rope and after doing that, this is what I have. The two rope have been inserted and you see you can just go ahead and gather this like so to form the roach for the dress. So what I'm going to do next is to go ahead and stitch the rope to the fabric like so. So after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and attach the upper part of the dress to the lower part of the dress like so using the half an inch seam allowance i added for that purpose okay so you are going to make sure that your side seams align and everything align then i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and then i'm going to make a stitch all around the waistline of this dress so after doing that i have this for my dress the upper part and the lower part have been joined together as you can see here and this is the back panel the zipper side is still open so 
For the sleeve, I'm going to go ahead and fold it into two and then I'm going to make a stitch on it like so to the lower part and then I'm going to go ahead and hem the lower part like so and then I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the dress, okay? So I have done that and I've attached my sleeve to the dress as you can see here this is looking very beautiful i made this video as simple as possible but if there's anything you don't understand you can go ahead and leave your questions in the comment section and then i will be there to answer okay so this is the zipper side at the back that is still open i have not attached the zip and this is the roach part of the dress as you can see you can go ahead and gather it as much as you want and however you want it so after doing that, you are going to make sure that you tie the rope at the end of... So you are going to tie this into a knot, just the way I'm doing it here. Just tie the two rope together to keep your gather in place. So this is what I have for this. So after that, I'm going to go ahead and tack the neckline to keep the facing inside so it doesn't come out when you wear it. So I'm going to go ahead and tack the neckline all around the neckline. And this is the sleeve of the dress and the finished look of the dress. So I'm going to insert a picture of me wearing this dress in my community page. Make sure you go ahead and check that out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye!